2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. Paul is describing something that the Corinthian church is going through, but it really gives some insight for us personally in our own battle. He says in verse 3, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of what? Fortresses. Satan wants to build fortresses in your mind. Have you ever, you know, you've heard of the expression, oh, I could do that in my sleep? Or, gee, I just did that without even thinking? You know why that happens, right? We, we've described a little bit in the past about, you know, the, the brain and how you develop certain channels where the neurons flow. And, and after you've done something for so long the same way, repetitively, you know, you develop those circuits and you actually do things without even thinking about it because you've developed that circuit in your brain and it just automatically goes there every time. And, and pretty soon you start to think there's no other way to think. And do you know that Satan, if he plants that lie in your mind and he starts to reinforce it and you start to act on it and you start to create a habit out of acting upon that lie, you can come to the place of believing that it's truth and there's no other way but this lie that you have now believed. And you start to think there's no other way to think, there's no other way to live. There's, you know, it's tragic. So tragic in this day and age to, uh, and, and you see it at work, you see it in the church, to deal with people who grew up in dysfunctional families and then they have children and they're now trying to be a mom and a dad but they were never taught to be a mom and dad. They have no idea what it means to be a mom and dad. They have no idea what it means to be stern and apply discipline or be compassionate and caring. They have no idea what it means to share your heart with your child or to have your child share their heart with you because they, never, they, didn't, they don't even know that exists. They've just been programmed one day, uh, one way for so many years and Satan has built these fortresses in their mind and they don't know how else to think or believe or act. And Satan is taking millions to hell through this strategy of building fortresses in the mind. But thank God there's something that can destroy those fortresses. It's the Word of God. And it says that the Word of God has, is divinely powered. It has the power of God to demolish those fortresses and to pull them down piece by piece so that you can see and believe and start living a new way as a new creation.